Rising cases of financial fraud and cyber security in the banking industry has attracted significant mitigation measures to revive public trust in the banking sector. I think fraud um, has been uh, uh, existent in our industry and um, the launch of uh, these two events uh, is a culmination of the need for us to sensitize not just the sector by the wider economy, about the need for us to mitigate fraud, to ensure that we rebuild trust, not just in the financial industry, but also in the wider economy. The expertise acquired by IT personnel can involuntarily pose a threat to public safety when utilized to evade security measures. They have so many networks across the you know, various sectors in order to perpetuate the activities. Likewise, they have IT experts to help perpetuate these activities. Bank of Uganda working with stakeholders in the banking industry have developed a banking industry guideline on the mitigation of fraud. To sign, please go to sign as well. Towards the strengthening the bedrock of trust and confidence that underpins our financial institutions. These are two important frameworks for the banking industry and they're really meant to ensure that we collaborate not just as are the banking industry but the wider uh, financial ecosystem to ensure that we ably collaborate to mitigate fraud in the industry which has our bankers call for immediate review for the banking code of conduct which promotes ethics and professionalism in the banking industry we have experienced incidents where some few staff have not only breached confidentiality obligations but also collaborated with fraudsters to share information or compromise access to systems it was therefore very critical to have an industry-wide court that sets minimum standards and a set of expectations for staff and financial institutions applicable across the entire banking industry and financial services sector. Other recommendations by bank include the revisiting of penalties given to convicts of serious financial crime and cyber security which are not deterring in nature. We unfortunately sometimes see these fraud convicts being let off their cuffs easily, or paying small fines, or released within a short time before, and before you know it, they're back into the system and back at the same games that they're so good at. The high rate digital illiteracy among the public seems to have escalated forms of financial fraud and other related cybersecurity cases in the evolving financial technologies system. Komagum Rogers and Abdul Nasir Luwamo for UBC.